Good day everyone, this is Sniper Elite 5 and the most recent weapon and skin has been released in a pack called Saboteur. Uh, I say skin because there's only one uh, and it's only for Cal. So if we just actually go and select it, the Liberator, there you can see on the bottom right it says you can celebrate the liberation of Paris with this classic French resistant look for Cal, complete with signature armband. Ooh la la. Okay, very nice indeed. Um, so just taking a look, nice leather outfit, uh, the jacket I mean. Uh, it's got this, what's it, red... Uh, was it not scarf, but I guess neck thing with jiggy? Uh, that's the armband, and I also like the what is it? The weapon belt across the chest. Uh, classic look. You can see it's got some bullets uh, in there as well. Very nicely done. Um, but yeah, it's only for color as I can see. But if we go and actually take a look at the weapons, that's what I'm pretty much more interested in. In all honesty, um, here we go. We've got the Terra rifle and the M3 Grease Gun Submachine Gun. Okay, we'll go into what it says about a Terra Rifle first. It's, I think it's pronounced Terra, T-E-R-A. Um, so yeah, bottom right, the lightweight Power Trooper Rifle is best in class for mobility, but still packs a punch thanks to its smaller but fast moving 6.5 millimeter cartridge. Ah, okay, very interesting there. The pros, easy to control and quick time to aim. Uh, so you can see the details here. Power is about, oh, I'll say that's about 70% of the bar. Better fire, about 20. Control, about 75 to 80. Mobility, about, oh, 70, 60 to 70 by looks of things, actually. Auto range, 110 meters. Okay, so keep that in mind. Pretty, I guess, average for, for the rifles. But uh, you know me, I like my uh, weapons to be stealth light, but we'll keep it as uh, default. Uh, authentic zoom is three. Okay, that's gonna be quite low for you know long range uh, sniping, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And magazine standard of uh, five uh, in there, very nice indeed. But we we'll take a look at the customizations available. Uh, this is all by default. I haven't changed anything uh, after loading up the game. But the sight is a ZF4 with three times authentic zoom. Uh, what have we got? We can go iron sights. Uh, what's the highest we got? Four times. Okay. Uh, but we'll leave it to the three times authentic zoom. Uh, versatile all rounder, ZF4. Okay. And barrel standard. Okay. But what options do we got? We got heavy, we got light, tint, and blued. Uh, oh, we got a couple to unlock. What do we need to do this one? Score 50 terror kills while prone. Okay. Uh, and then this other one, a short carbine, a carbine. Score 150 terror kills. Oh, okay. So we got a um, couple of different ones there. Um, I might get the extended or use the extended when I can just for that little bit little bit of increased power. And um, yeah, that's probably what I'll probably try to get later on, but we'll see what else we can do. Uh, moving on to barrel, muzzle, by default, we're using none. Uh, looks as though it's a standard, um, you know, muzzle attachments from every other weapon. Uh, you know, personally, I go for suppressor, but uh, I'll leave it as none for the time being. Stock is also none, and you've got a few you can change there too. Um, that's fine. I think that's all stock standard pretty much. Uh, receiver. Okay, looks as though it's you know, what you normally get as well. Um, none of these actually improve the power. So, okay, I probably won't bother too much about that. Uh, construction. Yeah, that's the same as before, I believe. But uh, yeah, just browsing quickly through. Uh, each of these ones, but uh, yeah, it looks like a nice nice weapon. I like the um, uh, What is it not rustic look but the worn-out look to it? You know you can see the marks and scratches and uh, dents on it uh, and I, They're always impressed with the way they do the uh, rifle um, Details and the, the was it the look of it? Um, but yeah, very nice indeed. Uh, okay, so that's the uh, Terra rifle um, if we get back out and go to the M3 Grease Gun, what's the description of it? Uh, I can find it. There it is. A lightweight American SMG making up for its lack of power with fantastic maneuverability and control. Ooh, very nice. Um, okay, so what are the details of the stats? You can see power is about oh, 20 to 30%. Okay, so uh, may not be great for long range. Um, killing from long range, you can probably nail people from quite distance, but uh, taking them out might be a bit tricky. Rate of fire, okay, a bit, uh, what, 40%, that's okay. Control mobility are quite high, uh, 70, 70, 80%, something like that. Audible range is 70 meters, okay, not too bad. Authentic zoom is one, um, and magazine sign is 30. Okay, pros, easy to control, but cons, very slow firing, limited iron sight visibility. Oh, does that mean it's got no optic zoom, optic attachments? Um, yeah, does not have anything, so he's stuck with a one times authentic zoom. Okay, that's gonna be a bit tricky, but uh, that's cool enough. Okay, so barrel standard. 
Oh, there we got a couple of things we can unlock a bit later on. What we need for this one, extended suppressed. Oh, that improves improves power, uh, and also reduces the orbital range. Oh, that would be nice to use later on. Uh, but we're gonna get 50 kills under 15 meters. Oh, okay, very interesting. A uh, flash hider. Okay, increase a bit of power and actually improves control. Uh, this one you need to get 40 kills over the shoulder okay so you know looking at third um third person view or over the shoulder view 40 kills of that okay interesting interesting uh magazine oh we got a couple to unlock as well but standard uh what's this one do this looks like those increases control mobility but it's a smaller magazine size so it goes from uh what 30 to to 20 okay so you lose 10 bullets in that one uh but you need to get 200 kills in this okay so this one you can get I guess relatively easy, but it just might take some time. Overpressure magazine. Oh, that's a nice bit of increase to power. Um, so I might get that. Um, you do lose bullets as well. It goes down to 18. Uh, and this one, you need to get 50 grease gun headshots. Oh, okay. So yeah, some nice um, unlocks you got to work to. Very nice indeed. Uh, stocks. Ooh, we can remove the stock if we choose to. Um, you just lose control, but uh, it makes it a lot more mobile. Uh, Rear grip, I think this is pretty much standard stuff we've seen before before, so that's okay. And receiver, um, yeah, standard before. Okay, reinforce over pressure. Maybe get it just to get a bit, imp bit improvement in power, but you do lose quite a bit of control as well. Hmm. But uh, yeah, these um, new weapons look very interesting to use and quite uh, you know unexpected. Um, I did kind of know that we're going to get the grease gun based on the silhouette. Um, if we saw the uh, picture of the uh, pack, but I wasn't too sure about the rifle itself. So in all honesty, I don't even think I've heard of the uh, Terra rifle um, in any instance. But uh, you know what we do? We'll go to the shooting range and we'll take a look to see how they perform and function. Because, uh, yeah, very interested to see how they go, especially with the rifle itself. Um, okay, so first of all, we can take a look at Kyle's outfit, the um, inspired by the French Resistance. Um, oh, okay, looks as though he's injured on his right thigh, a bit hard to see, but yep, maybe that's just a look, so that's fair enough. Actually, I think it would look more better if he has like a, a motorcycle to ride on with the leather jacket, but uh, fair enough, no worries about that. Okay, so bring out the rifle, we we'll head over to the shooting range part here. Okay, so third person, oh, that's actually pretty decent looking from uh, over the shoulder, I mean. Let's try to zooming in. Well, oh, that's quick. That's very nice and quick. Oh, I like that sound too. Very beefy. It's also quite uh, steady as well when you're aiming. Let's take out. Oh, okay, so the the reload is pretty quick as well. It's just like a cartridge. Let's try a bit of longer range shots. Yeah, it doesn't have much bullet drop as well for long range, which is pretty sweet. Hmm. Yeah, full cartridge reload. That's actually pretty nice. Um, so yeah, not much bullet drop from what I'm testing out with. Riff, um, should be good for some long range killing. But uh, yeah, okay, let's change over to the grease gun. Let's see how this performs. What's it look like first person? Ooh, okay, so there. It could be a bit obscure um, aiming down the sights. Um, over the shoulder, not too bad, of course. But uh, let's see how this functions. Okay, so, ooh, let's try long range shots. Bit of a drop there. Totally missed. Okay, yeah, so, especially considering how um, little power it has, we need to try that out against uh, real targets or real enemies. So probably not something to use quite long range distance. Hmm, what's the reload like? That looks pretty sweet. Normal type of reload. Yeah, okay. Um, be interesting to see how these two pair up with each other when we uh, test it out. So you know what? I'll load up our, our mission and we'll get into it and we see how we go. Okay, so we loaded up Spy Academy, our favorite hunting ground to test out weapons. But it uh, might be tricky with the rifle having only a 3 times scope, but uh, you know, we'll see how we go. Um, so let's see, this guy's about what, 150 meters I think? Yeah, 150 meters. Uh, looking down the scope, ooh, that's going to be a bit tricky. 
do 100 meters or 200 meters. Actually, let's aim for his friend first of all. It looks like he's eating an apple. Oh, back of the head. Oh. His friend didn't notice that. Okay, got lucky there. Um, hmm, just taking a look, making sure there's nobody else. We're going to actually stop moving and try to take him out. Oh, a nice clean headshot. Very nice indeed. Okay. Um, oh, there's this guy down there. Just under 200 meters away. That's okay. Uh, just want to see what looking at snipers are. These guys, like, this guy's 400 meters away. Oh, that's going to be tricky to even get from this distance. You can see. Okay, it's 300 something meters away. Yeah, that's going to be hard to get from here. Okay. Uh, let's try and get this guy 200 meters using just uh, standard rounds. Oh, not a nice kill. Okay, so what I can tell, there's not much uh, bullet drop in aiming. Um, it's pretty, um, I guess, accurate. So that's pretty good for that. Um, but yeah, I don't think it would be good for you know really long range engagements for sure. Especially limited to the three times scope. Um, my highest can get is four. So I think this is definitely more suited for close to medium range engagements. Maybe more for close, especially with the... Um, fast rate of fire that it has to. Um, you know what, let's test out the submachine gun, the grease gun. Let's see, the audible range was like 70 meters, wasn't it? Okay, so let's see how this goes against these two enemies, if we can get sneak in. Oh, did this guy here? I think it did. Oh, too high, damn it. Is he wounded? He's gone now, okay. Oh, that sniper, was he looking at me? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I'm a bit cautious to move up because of the sniper there. Um, you know what, let's change over to match ammunition. What distance is the sniper? He is 231, okay. Mm. Can I go prone? Would that help a bit? Oh, is he looking at me? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a bit cautious now. Okay, he's not looking at me now. That's good. Let's see if you can get it. 200, 231. Well, oh, that's hard to see properly. Nice! Oh, look at the ricochet off his uh, rifle, but uh, I think the people near him are going to notice he's dead. Oh, can you try getting this guy from here? Oh, okay. Didn't I expect, did not expect that to work. Wow. Oh, this guy heard that. Oh, okay. If your aim is true, it's actually pretty good. Oh, more enemies. Um, you know what? Let's reposition. I just want to move here first. Uh, let me put a landmine here. Just want to protect my behind. Um, okay, hang on, let's see. We got an alarm to do with, right? Yeah, let's do the alarm. 219. Oh, I hear a motorcycle. Okay, they heard that. They must have seen a friend dead. Whoa. Okay, uh, not too bad with some machine gun. But then yeah, let's do that rifle, f I mean, that alarm first. Nope, I missed it. That's hard, I see. There we go, got it. Um, okay. Where's that sniper? He is 200 meters away. Okay, let's see if we can get him. Oh no, it's moving. Damn it. 
Oh, nice. I feel maybe the sweet spot for this rifle is about maybe 200 meters. Um, yeah. Um, what's the sniper? He is 300 meters. Let's give that a shot. Not a bit too much. Oh, tagged him. Oh, he's got my, he's got me in the sights. Damn it, this is hard to get. There we go. Oh, straight into the teeth. <laughs> bye bye, dental plan. And I think someone, yep, someone just walked into my landmine there. Lucky I placed that as well. Um, hmm. Okay, let's just uh, check the body. Nothing else to find. Um, let's put another mine. Yes, yeah, booby trap, just in case. I'll just go and grab some more mines just in case as well. But damn. Okay, yeah. So 300 is a bit of a stretch for this rifle. Well, for me, um, I'm sure that'll be my better luck. But damn, that was actually not too bad. Um, so we're taking out three snipers. We got one more over here, isn't it? Uh, no, not him. Oh, where is he running off to? What? He's searching for something. Oh, don't tell me the alarms are going off. Uh, hang on. Speaking of alarms, isn't there one up yet? There is one up there, right there. What's the distance of that? I'm not sure. Hang on. What's the enemy? The enemy's right there. He's 290, so that's about 300 meters away. Ooh. Okay, let's see if we can get this alarm. About there, I think. Did I hit it? Oh, uh, nope. I, did I hit it that time? I think I did. Yeah, it looks like I did. Okay, this guy's... He's unaware. Okay, but I think I got the alarm. Okay, sweet. Um, that sniper's not there yet. Where's he gone? Hmm, I'm just cautious about moving up a bit. You know what? I'm going to see whether I want to take these guys out from this distance. Oh, but I want to test out the grease gun, so I need to move Staff up. Car. As well. Must be one of the meeting attendees. Oh, but these guys are all might be able to find some information. Okay, here. everybody's everybody's in a bit of a is if oh that's a sniper. Distance. 250 250. Oh there goes his helmet. Oh I lost I lost sight of him. Oh I don't know. Is he did he get knocked down? No, I can't see him anymore. Oh, okay, that's gonna be trouble. You know what? We'll keep that in mind just in case. But uh, we'll move up and see if we can engage other enemies. Um, any enemies here? No. Hang on. Where's our favorite friend? There it is, the landmine guy. Nice, one eighty. Um. Okay, wait for him to stand up, maybe, and go stationary. There we go! Oh. Okay, so I think for me, the sweet spot is 200 meters or so. But, um, yeah. Oh, there's his other friend. Did he notice his dead friend? No, he didn't. Really painful looking. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, someone's shooting. Oh, I hear something. Hmm. Okay, let's move up. Oh, there's an enemy there. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I like the uh, quick uh, aim down sights and also the quick sh fire. But uh, it's not really the best for long range. So probably, you know, it'd be good if we had like a suppressor on it to take out enemies uh, quietly, stealth-like. 
Uh, just double checking the sniper's not there. Okay, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe I did knock him out. I'm not too sure. Oh, we've got enemies moving. Ooh, feels like it packs a punch. Unless you you need some good aiming. So upper body, definitely a headshot will take him out for in one shot hit. As you can see, yep. Oh, who's hitting me? Where's that? Is that below you somewhere? Oh, down there. Oh, missed. Oh, missed again. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, what did that hit? Okay, um, just checking. Oh, there's somebody there I just saw. Oh, guy machine gun. Oh, 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 oh. Oops. Um. Oh, okay. I reload. Let's bring out a submachine gun now. Hmm, not too bad. Uh, I was thinking maybe I need to burst fire it, but uh, maybe going full auto is not too bad either. Can I get this guy? Oh, got to reload. Oh, was that someone there? Yes, it is. Okay, maybe full auto is not good. Ooh, hold on, I don't know how that worked. Damn it, got his helmet. Oh, time to reload again. Oh, better go back to um, rifle. Ouch. Okay. Come on. Nice. Oh, missed. Ow. Can't see this guy. Where is he? I want to try to grease kind of a bit more. He has a chance. Okay. Um, yeah, if you get some good accurate shots, it's pretty sweet. Let me just heal up. Okay, don't need to heal anymore. Um, okay, let's move up a bit. Oh, where's that guy? Nothing else. I can't see him. Hmm. Oh, there's someone. Is he injured? Okay, this might be dangerous for me to move up. Okay. Um, so yeah, with the grease gun, definitely I prefer tap fire or burst fire. The rifle is actually pretty straight if you've got good aim. Uh, but 200 meters to me feels as though it's a... Uh, right thing oh I think I got him with that that was his helmet that flew probably uh, I was gonna say I need to see the instant replay but I don't think there is one but yeah okay so the grease gun is good accuracy but of course you're limited to the one times optic zoom so try to make the most of it um, I probably wouldn't recommend going full automatic with it but uh, you know it's got a bit of slow rate of fire but I think makes up for it with uh, pretty accurate shots and yeah, control and all that I mean in regards to it and the rifle yeah definitely good for 200 meters uh, in my mind um, and it's got quick aim down the sights and quick fire rate I think both weapons will do really well if you also put suppressors onto them too well anywho we'll let it be for now but yeah cheers to that guys um, if you're new, please subscribe and we'll catch you later. Bye bye.